Hi friends, we'll learn about SQLite 3 by connecting to SQLite database and this time we'll be using PHP as our script and script can be anything, it can be Python or anything, the concept remains the same. We'll learn about creating table, updating table, delete the table and join the different tables and using subqueries and many more. My request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's start the script. As you are aware that this uh, SQLite is a file based one so there is no server, it's a serverless database. So there are three ways we will connect it. So this particular database is a file. So just see this three line of code. My connection here in the first line, this is same file my underscore db dot db and this file is in the same location where the script is running. Or in the second line, I can just create a path here. Just see the path here. I am giving a full path of it and connecting it to. Suppose my script running and the database is in a different path. I will use this. Now this last one, this particular one, it is same as this. What happened? It dynamically picks up the, is in the current location, dynamically picks up the directory name and then add this particular file name. This is more or less same as this particular one. Out of these three, you whatever you feel like using and to maintain the simplicity I'll just recommend that you use the first line. We'll start from the beginning now. Visit this URL it is there in the description and you can just scroll down and uh, you can download this particular file my underscore dv dot dv this contains the sample student table with 35 rows of records or you can just copy this code. This code is you can click this and copy this code go to your notepad or whatever you are using paste it here then save this i am just coming out here i am running one my file now it is uh, inside the correctly path i am giving insert two so this will tell number of rows inserted 35 last id is 35 now my table is available will work here this is my left side is my editor or whatever editor you are using you can use this and right side you can see I have kept the browser so in the local host I can operate it. Now this file name is I have kept it as this 2 display 2 that is so I am just running this it should show me a blank window because I have not written any code here. Now the first thing I will do inside my PHP uh, script area is connection. So, so this is the connection object now what I am connecting this is SQL light and the file name because I have kept it in the same uh, folder so I am just connecting it like this db so my this is my connection object and this particular file is in my same folder where my this particular file is there so th this, that is why I would otherwise I would have given a c colon dad, dad, whatever the path I have where it is stored I can I have to give that one so now let's come back so now my connection is ready now let's say SQL, my query, whatever query I want to write it. I just want to collect all the records. So select star, star means here all the columns from student. Student is my table name, so I have the query now. Now what I am going to do is I will just format it using a HTML table. So I am writing it starting of a table nothing uh, no style set nothing is associated with that only simple a table command now result this result will hold me whatever the return of return data set I get it from the executing the query so what now I am going to do is I am executing the query here my connection now this I am executing using the query function and inside that I am writing my SQL at the top I have defined that so now if there is uh, result is suppose there is some error or anything we'll see how to handle the error subsequently then this will be false so this is have contains a result set object now that result set i will be converting it to an array and loop it through for that i'm just writing a single line here while loop i am using and i am creating a array row equal to now here i am taking result result okay result it is now fetch array now what happens is this fetch array function will create a array for me with you which i will be looping through by using a while loop so i am closing this 
now I am inside this loop while loop I am closing my loop outside the loop I'll close the table because you I have created a table here at line number four here I am I'm just closing the table let me uh, close this first then I will write what will go inside this now here inside once once I am there I am writing echo or print whatever you want now I am writing a row tr now inside this ed because it's a table now I'll say row I am saying ID. ID is my first column in the student column. I have ID, name, class, mark and gender. So this is I am telling give me the IDs. So I am saying again closing the cell. Now I can continue with other columns. Let's first see how the this looks like. But this will not be a okay. We'll go for starting one more column. We'll write. We'll write a name also. So TD now again row. Now I am writing name. So name column data I am bringing. So I have to close my cell. Now let me close the uh, row also. That's all. So I, I, I expect ID to come and build after that right of it the name should come. I am just saving this. Let's run this and see. You can see all my 35 IDs here. Rows are there. I can just restrict this one. I will change the query limit. Starting from 0, give me 10 records. So I have nothing to do. I'll just refresh this again. So fine. So zero to first record to tenth record. Zero means it is a one record, first record. So up to ten record, ten rows of data has been collected. Now suppose I want that. Okay, fine. Give me the other things also. So let me. I have uh, more columns. So class, mark, and gender. So for that I am writing it again. TD. Now let's say row. Now say class. In fact, I can just copy this. That's so this is for class, this is for mark. And let me just come here, paste it once more. That is for gender. Fine. Now let's save this and run it again. You can see ID, name, class, mark, and then the gender has column was added. That's all friends. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and learned the concept and we will continue our learning also in other parts. And my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching.